All right, a little background. So I was on BuzzFeed.com one day, taking one of their personality quizzes, answer some questions to see what kind of pizza you are when, wait, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's a serious addiction that is sweeping our country. I am talking about BuzzFeed quizzes. BuzzFeed quiz. BuzzFeed quiz. BuzzFeed quiz. BuzzFeed quiz. BuzzFeed quiz. BuzzFeed has you know, those quizzes online. Yes, I'm talking about those quizzes. The insanely and inanely popular series of questions and answers that allow you to determine either the celestial body that matches your personality, or your age and height according to your vacation plan, or any other combination of attributes that supposedly describe your personality in some other way. If you're curious, apparently, I'm 53 years old and 5'7". Anyway, I was taking one of these personality quizzes one day and wanted to embed one of them in one of my React apps. BuzzFeed is using the production build of React on their own site after all. You know, I figured there'd be a way to insert the quiz on your own site as an iframe or something similar, but there's no embed button on their site, unfortunately. So I figured I'd reverse engineer a BuzzFeed quiz clone for React specifically. Once all was said and done, I published my package on NPM and Yarn as react-buzzfeed-quiz, but not without some trial and error, as you will soon find out. As far as the basic implementation of the package, all you have to do is run npm install react buzzfeed quiz or yarn add react buzzfeed quiz in your terminal and then import the buzzfeed quiz component from react buzzfeed quiz. I decided to have this component as a named import rather than a default import in the newest version since it was a best practice. After adding the quiz component, if you wish, you can import the default quiz CSS file from React BuzzFeed quiz slash lib slash styles.css. You can then add your own custom quiz features as props and start building your own BuzzFeed style quiz. You can add a title, description, your own custom byline and author information, and any questions, answers, and results you want. Of course, these can all have your own images, backgrounds, and font styles as well. Check out the documentation and user guide for more information about all the possible props, what they do, and the types of values that they expect. Now, when I was first writing this module, I was a big fan of style components. I still am. The syntax is very similar to SAS, except it's CSS in JS, so you also have access to JavaScript features and functions within your style sheets. In React, it's very handy since you can pass props to your style components. It's very intuitive and easy to conditionally render CSS styles. Style components also has this create global style helper function, which can be used to handle global styles and even load fonts. Initially, I shipped React BuzzFeed quiz with various font files for BuzzFeed's official font, Proxima Nova. The idea here was to preload that particular font out of the box by using create global style along with the CSS at import statement with the local URL of a CSS file declaring the font faces. I learned that this wasn't a good practice though and besides I wasn't sure if I wanted my package to be so opinionated as to the actual fonts that users decided to use. Now in a standalone React app, using style components is all well and good, but for a module that is imported into a separate React app, there are some caveats. For one, if React BuzzFeed Quiz uses style components and let's say someone imports it and also decides to use style components on their own app, this can result in class name collisions and dynamic styles not working properly. This is because the algorithm that powers style components detects two instances of the style components module and gets confused as to which style should be applied where. That's why in the first major version of React BuzzFeed Quiz, I decided to make style components a peer dependency rather than a regular dependency, as recommended by the style components docs. This would fix this issue, but at a cost. Users would now have an additional step in importing my module and would need to download style components separately on their own apps. Here's the thing though, the actual CSS styles for my module still wouldn't be applied unless users would literally write import styled from style components in their own apps, which would, of course, throw a warning in the terminal if it wasn't used. So my quiz component would have to be wrapped in this styled import given an empty array of styles and assigned to another variable. This seems like a really muddy, confusing, and frankly annoying workaround to just adding some styles to my module. 
So, in the latest version of React BuzzFeed Quiz, I decided to toss style components entirely and just rewrite all the CSS styles using plain old SAS. The syntax was very similar, but I couldn't use props anymore, so for conditional styles, I just used dynamic class names. That's it. No more additional npm install, no more weird workarounds, just one installation and then all the styles can be imported by importing the compiled CSS. Also, I added TypeScript to the newest version. Rather than having a custom quiz validator function that wouldn't render the quiz and throw an actual error if an invalid type was supplied to the quiz component. I also like that I could add documentation via JS docs right in my interfaces and types so that when you hover over the props, you can see exactly what they describe and the types that they expect. Another big pain point was fitting dynamic text into each question or answer container. I needed something that would alter the font size of each container's text based on the size of the container and the number of characters that were inputted. I must have tried about 15 or 20 different libraries whose goal was something along these lines, but none of them really worked for my purpose. They either flat out didn't work or weren't compatible with the latest version of React. I settled on React Scale Text for the first version of React BuzzFeed Quiz, which sort of worked but had a strange resizing issue on component mount that really didn't sit right with me. So for version 2, I did some more research and somehow landed on this GitHub repo for React Text Resize by Magalhini. Now, the last activity for this repo was four years ago, so I didn't have much hope, but its CodePen example seemed to work decently well. Uh, don't bother NPM installing it. React will just throw a too many re-renders error, but the algorithm in the CodePen had some credence. I liked the resizing function, but it only took into account the number of characters and not the size of the container, so I modified it to fit my needs along with TypeScript. Now I had a working text fit component. Also, between versions 1 and 2, BuzzFeed actually changed up the design of their quizzes slightly, most notably in the results section, and moved on from using floats and uh, clear fixes to structure the quiz itself to using CSS Grid. Luckily, I had already implemented CSS Grid in version 1. Finally, you might also notice that the quiz also has a slight bounce effect when smooth scrolling from question to question. I managed to implement something similar in my own quiz by using the npm package react scroll and creating my own scroll function. Smooth scrolling is, of course, completely optional. And that's where React BuzzFeed Quiz stands at the moment. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to add other types of BuzzFeed quizzes besides the personality quiz, and I'm sure BuzzFeed will change up their style in the future, so I hope to update the package accordingly. Thank you so much for watching, and again, additional details and a user guide for React BuzzFeed Quiz are on its NPM package and GitHub repo, both of which I will include in the description of this video. Oh yeah, apparently I'm a meat lover's pizza, so do with that what you will.